Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Last time around we did some monkeying about in Winchesterton Fieldville uh, to improve the passenger situation. Um, yeah, this time around we're not going to do that. Uh, it has mostly done what it was intended to do, but there's uh, a massive traffic backlog that needs to clear before it's absolutely clear what's going on there. Um, I off screen I did some other tinkering around with it uh, and uh, you know basically just uh, messed around now no today we're going to get back to cargo now what we're, I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some tools uh, uh, under production now uh, this here uh, is gonna require uh, it's gonna require uh, planks right and that's going to require logs. Now we happen to have two forests over here, a sawmill, and over here we have a tools factory. So that means we can get our tools uh, chain up and running all in this local area. Now I was uh, poking about before uh, starting up here. Now I, I can get uh, down to here with a train. And I'm thinking maybe that that looks like it's far enough. So I'm going to I'm going to give that a whirl. I thought about using trucks, but I thought nah, I'll I'll use uh, so no catenary. Um, yeah, so we can uh, uh, get a well that'll do. Uh, that's a passenger station, you moron. Um, right, okay. Don't be a moron. Select the cargo station. There, we have a cargo station. We're going to need one over here, too. So we'll uh, find a way to stash. Yeah, we'll, we'll stash it like that. Because we're going to come together here and head down that way. Okay. Uh, oh, you also need a station with two tracks over here. And you're going to need to go probably around this way. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Okay, these guys come down, and then we need to come around... Uh, yeah, around that way might be the, the way to go. Um, okay. So we'll, uh, stick a station in here. Okay, now this is the Beacon Hill Sawmill, so we'll just name that appropriately. Sawmill. Yep. And this is the Beacon Hills Forest, so that's going to be, uh, forest. Yep. And this here is the Asgard Forest, so that's going to be the Asgard Forest. Yep, okay, good, right, okay. Now, what do we need to do? We need to build some tracks here, right? So, here, we need to get up to here, which we don't. We need to get up to here, which we can Okay, well, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Good. We can get up to there. Now, can we get from here? Oi, no. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. Okay. Well, we're clearly not going to be doing that because I don't want to put a helix there. Uh, right, okay, so let's uh, put the other track in there, and then I'll take trucks uh, from the other uh, 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 forest, uh, and that will, uh, that will allow to, uh, allow us to uh, get, you know, get everything all uh, straightened out. And, of course, uh, I, I've done this every single time. 
we don't need catenary on the freight lines because we're using diesel right okay okay now this is ugly so we're just gonna grab the uh, smoothing gun and we're gonna up the size and the tempo and do this and now it doesn't look like quite so egregious yeah yeah that's all that's all there was to that now over here this is going to be a run through so uh, we're not going to need uh, necessarily a uh, another uh, uh, crossover there but what we are going to need and uh, let's actually get the the clock running we're going to need uh, truck stations uh, so over here, uh, let's just make it a long one. We only need one platform. Uh, we'll uh, eh, we'll put it right here. Okay, that inherited the name, did it? It did. Okay, and then we're gonna need one of these over here as well. Or do we just truck it straight? Yeah, we truck it straight down here. Okay, and if I do this, I get tendrils. Good. So this is going to be also Beacon Hills Sawmill. Saw mill. There we go. So that's what we're going to do there. Now, we're going to need a road, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we'll need one of those. Uh, and then you should be able to just wang your way up up uh, well we'll uh, do it in uh, stages then uh, we're gonna put a uh, curve on this thing right so we'll come around like this up like this now can we just wang this around yeah we can okay yeah that'll work Good. Okay, so that gets us a connection point there. Now we're going to need a uh, train station over here, and probably with two. Oh, this could be uh, slightly challenging. Um, uh, we'll put it back here if we can. Okay, and that's the Utopia Tools factory, is it? Okay, so that's a tools factory, yes? Good, right, we have a tools factory. Now, how do we get through here? I think we need to go over? Maybe. Uh, we need tracks, right? No, we need tracks, good, yes. Uh, okay, so we need to come up to here and see where we're at. Uh, so if we do level, we're going down. Okay, so I think we go under. No, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So if we go one tick down, go a couple ticks down we get under okay so if we do one tick up now can we get under if we do this yes we can uh, and we can go level here I'm thinking maybe up might have been smarter um, wait no build this okay let's build that now let's see can we get around to our station here we can okay that's mostly underground though um, yeah okay that's the right side now, if we do this, we have a collision, right? Yeah, we do. 
but we have a long stretch here that can be brought back above ground. Okay, so I'll build that. We'll, we'll back this up to about here, I think. Yeah, uh, that might be too much. Uh, now, if I do this, yeah, we'll do this. And back that up. I went one length too far. Okay. And that's going to go under there. Okay, so this here needs to come around. Okay. Okay, in theory, that should get That should get that part of the supply chain working. Okay, so I'll do this and this. Right, okay, so we need a signal or two on here. Uh, so we'll uh, stick a couple of those in. Okay, we'll do that, and that, and this up to here. Okay, now we need to get a uh, train operation on there. So I'm going to uh, add a depot, of course. Um, okay, so we can do this, and then this, and then see if a depot fits. Uh, like that, a depot fits. Okay, now what do we need to do? We need a train. Uh, so we're going to need uh, a diesel loco. Um, Let's go with our trusty old SD40. Um, we're going to need flat cars. Uh, so that one, that one seems to be the one. That'll do. So we'll buy one of those. And then we'll uh, send it out on a line here, here, and then over to, where is it? Here. Um, yeah, that's the whole line. Okay. So this is going to be cargo rail, Asgard, forest, Beacon Hills, Sawmill, Utopia, uh, tools. Okay. Um, right. We'll ride that one in a, in a moment. So I'm just going to park this over here. But what we also need is a, uh, where is it? Uh, roads. Yeah. We need a truck depot thingy, which we can shove. I don't know. We can shove one over here. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to need uh, cargo. Uh, we're going to come out. Come, come on down here. Um, flatbed takes uh, logs. Uh, it does eighty. Uh, that's capacity fourteen. And that's capacity seventeen. Carries everything. You know what? We'll take. Uh, Five of those. New line. Uh, go from here to here. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be cargo trucks from Beacon Hills Forest to Beacon Hills Sawmill. Right, okay. Um, 
actually. Let's uh, close that. Let's actually ride the truck. Because that's uh, different, right? So we'll ride the truck here into the uh, for forest here. Might need to take the smoothing gun to this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what the, uh, the truck does. And off we go. Down the road. Well, we got to get out of the station first. Okay, now we're on the highway. Down we go. We. Yeah, when you get into later time, uh, you definitely want to use trucks for the really steep lines. Uh, once you've got trucks with good horsepower and uh, uh, capacity, right? Because it's just going to. Um, it's just going to overall improve. Uh, your uh, ability to build things, right? Yeah, so this one uh, turns out, looks like it's okay. And into the station, right. Well, there we go. We did, uh, we delivered absolutely nothing. Um, okay, let's jump out of there. And this guy has nothing. This guy has nothing. So, okay, we do have a tendril to the sawmill there. We do not have a connection to the sawmill here. That would be the problem. Okay, or the, the forest. So we need tendrils. Okay. What? That's got a tendril. Why isn't it lighting up? Okay, well, we got logs, the log bundle showing up there now. There we go. Now it's lighting up. Okay. Well, that, uh, that fixes that. Okay. Now over here, we do have logs accumulating. So let's, uh, let's ride the train now. I think we might need two trains. That's uh, that's my uh, theory here. Okay, we're gonna grab our 144 logs, right? Yeah, we grabbed 144 logs, and off we go. There, you can see our trucks uh, wandering around in the distance there. Right. Okay, so this will schlep the uh, logs down the hill. want to see the other leg of this more so than this leg want to see if we uh, had some sort of a collision with the uh, other tunnel that we crossed over there okay we're coming on down to the sawmill where we are not going to pick up any planks. Well, we 
should be able to. Unless I didn't get tendrils at the other end. That's possible. Oh no, we picked up a couple of planks that time, so that's good. Now let's just just take a look at this uh, this line here. There's our tunnel entrance. It looks rather abrupt, you know, ground-wise, but it looks okay. okay and we uh, come through somewhere along here. We uh, went over or under another tunnel. And I just want to see if we're clipping through anything weird here. I don't think we will, but... I didn't check three-dimensional uh, layering, so I'm not sure. Now, I don't see anything egregious in there, so if there is anything egregious, we, we set it up in the other tunnel. Uh, okay, and we uh, come back up out of the tunnel and into our destination station. Right where we will drop off two whole planks. There we go, we dropped off our two whole planks. And this, uh, this goes on back. Okay. I think we're under the other tunnel, okay. Right, so everything looks okay coming into this tunnel as well, so uh, we can duck out of here. Now, uh, the question is, what do we do with the tools? Uh, we could bring them into Asgard. Asgard demands tools. And uh, Mayberry demands tools. Um, so we could bring them there. Uh, I think I am going to actually bring them into uh, Asgard. Okay, so what we're going to need is a uh, truck drop-off point for tools, which is over here. So if I put this drop-off here, I get pretty much everything. Okay, so we'll put the drop-off here. And we need a road that gets over to here. Okay, so I'm going to need one of these. Uh, and if I do this, I get tendrils. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, so that's a Utopia Tools Factory, so so is this. Uh, right. Tools Factory. Yes. Okay, good. Now. Um, right. Uh, let's take this. Well, this road here, I might actually use it. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, build a uh, road and I'm going to go along the tracks here but I'm going to go up as if I do that I can avoid causing traffic jams by linking the uh, cities together. Uh, right. Okay. So this can come on 
like so. And we'll come up, come along like so. Yep. And then we need to go over this way, I think. And then we can we can hit the ground over here. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And then this can come up to here. And then we can just go ahead and upgrade that. Okay. That will definitely let us get uh, get our uh, trucks there. Uh, I'm going to make it so this can't... I don't really need to do it on the bridge, do I? No. Uh, so that that can't be uh, monkeyed with. And then I will add one of uh, these. Uh, okay. Suppose I can stick it, I don't know, right about here. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So we're going to grab, I guess, the uh, trusty old tarpaulin truck. Uh, let's, that's a fair distance. Um, let's put eight of them on here. Uh, we'll do a new line from here over to here. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, cargo truck to from Utopia Tools to Asgard, right? Okay, now let's uh, let's grab one of these and we'll we'll ride this truck. Okay, so yeah, just uh, take a boo at how this this goes. Right along the uh, viaduct there. Okay, this looks like it uh, should be vaguely amusing. And up we go. This actually reduces the amount of climbing on the uh, on the route too. So uh, you know, theoretically, that could be uh, a good result. Right. So I think uh, this is going to be just about the end of it. Uh, end of this part here. Uh, getting this. Uh, this operation online. We'll probably need to, at some point, uh, add a connection for another tools destination. I'm not completely sure on that, but at some point we might need to, at which time uh, I'll plumb in a train line somewhere else or something like that. But this is a distance that's actually okay for trucks, so, you know, there's that. Okay, here we come around into the into where the old road was. Uh, why did it slow down there? That's what I want to know. Either way, uh, we come up and over. Yeah. So we'll we'll uh, we'll be okay here. Coming down into the town. Actually, it looks kind of nice coming down into the town here, doesn't it? And there we go. There's a guy walking. Hey, we come in. We come up to an intersection. We hang a left. We drop nothing off, and we go back.
There's the drop off. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so that's uh, that's working out okay. Oh look, it's another truck. And another truck. I just want to see what this uh, looks like when we come up over the pass. Uh, it looks like these trucks will need to spread out just a little bit more. That should happen on the next pass. Okay, coming up and over. And we see a wide landscape. Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, then. Uh, so that's uh, basically, it's going to basically be it there. Uh, okay. Now this probably looks ridiculous, but you know, I thought, hey, why not? We can do something dumb. We had the cash. Okay, so that, uh, that gets uh, a little bit of stuff operating here. Uh, we got, uh, new trains. Okay, so that's got that, uh, sorted out. So we can leave this, uh, alone for a little while. Now, I'm just gonna check in over here. Uh, so you can see we've got this massive agglomeration thing going on here. And that's, uh, actually been causing, uh, trouble, uh, for traffic. So I just want to just take a, a quick look so you can see this traffic mess here right uh, all the way over here into Winchesterton Fieldville and on pa points past up to here uh, I haven't worked out how to fix that yet um, it looks like I need better transport uh, we don't have a traffic jam headed out here, but we do have a traffic jam headed the other way. So it looks like I need some more uh, dense uh, transportation network stuff. And it's just so hard to do on this map that uh, I just haven't been able to find the motivation to do it. What I did do, though, is, uh, is take the... Uh, uh, sandbox mod that I've got in here. I went and I edited the town uh, populations down a little bit uh, because they were just out of control. Uh, so uh, if we look in the corner here, I think it was, was it Wakanda or Arkham? Well, anyway, Wakanda was up at like 2000 or something like that. Uh, and you can see we've got a 540% modifier uh, due to the uh, destinations coverage by partly by private transport. So uh, I think what they need to do is uh, add a, uh, a modifier, a negative modifier for traffic jams to the destinations. But somehow I think that would make performance even worse. But as you can see, uh, we have large chunks of this part over here which don't have traffic jams, right? Over here in the corner, we don't have a major traffic jam in the actual cities, right? We have traffic backed up here, uh, but we don't have that major traffic jam in this area. Um, but we do have a traffic jam on the road, roads coming this way. So I need to uh, look into some way to uh, straighten that out. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it's really easy to get a major traffic problem. And uh, uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what the uh, end solution is going to be. I think the end solution is going to be just ignore it. Uh, but anyway, I... Uh, so that's what I've, I've been doing off screen. I've been messing around over here. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to fiddle with this map. I think it's going to get a little bit uh, boring pretty quickly. 
Um, although there's a little bit more that can be done, like there's some uh, uh, production chains and stuff that we could uh, bring online still over here. Uh, so I'm not sure sure what I'm going to do. Uh, there, there's uh, probably half a dozen more episodes here. I'll probably finish out the year at least uh, with this map. Uh, but if you have any suggestions on uh, what I should uh, take a swing at, uh, then, uh, you know, leave a comment or whatever, and uh, uh, I'll uh, consider it. Uh, you know, it's uh, just uh, uh, it's something to think about at this point, and I'm just pondering what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a map with this dense level of towns. Uh, uh, again, uh, because obviously, as you can see, the, the problems that causes when you get uh, the transportation network up and running. So uh, anyway, uh, so that's going to be all for this time. Uh, we got our, uh, our tools uh, chain uh, going to some level here. And, uh, and that was the goal for this, this episode. So that's, that's done. So that's uh, all for this time. So stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you back next time.